Brett Pontecorvo here at MainStageToAbleton.com, and today we're going to talk about how you can get Ableton's clock to sync to an external metronome when they can't talk to each other. So there is the textbook answer of how you can set up your audio and MIDI preferences, um, and I do have a post all about that, which I will link to in the description below, but this is for that rare case when you are working with something where you actually can't get them to talk to each other, um, and I have found that the best way to take care of this is by using scenes with tempos. So let's have a look here at Ableton Live and what's going on. So here I am inside Ableton Live. And right now I've got an arpeggiator set up, which works great. It's a lovely thing to be able to have set up when you have your click and that is what's controlling the tempo. But um, I've got a separate metronome set up over here um, and I'm gonna trigger my 98 beats per minute. And I'm gonna turn on Ableton's metronome. And you'll notice that they are actually not at all going at the same time. So what's the answer to this? Well, let me turn this off. The answer to this is we're going to create some master scenes that are labeled with two things. They need to have the time signature, which in this case is 4-4, and they need to have the tempo. So you can always rename your scene, and I'm going to be given an example of 98 beats per minute and 4-4. Four, four. Now the reason you need to label the time signature is because that's going to cause Ableton's clock to restart. So I'm going to give a brief demo of this. So um, before I move on, I should add your quantization up here must be set to none. So let's look very closely over here at our clock. Every time I click this master scene, Ableton's going to start back over at 1. And the reason that it's difficult sometimes to get things to sync up is because the beats are not quite aligned. Um, so I'm going to move my metronome just up to 100. This is a random number, 130. And I'm going to start this other metronome that is not communicating with Ableton. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fire this scene. Now you'll notice the clock has jumped to be lining up with this external click. So now, all I did was hit that button when the ones were lining up and we were in business. So I'm gonna change the tempo now to 120. And right now my MIDI effect is not gonna work, right? Because the tempos are different. But I'm gonna go ahead and fire the second scene and you'll notice my clock is already lined up. And now they're playing at the same time. So this is the way I recommend working with MIDI effects when you're dealing with a metronome that does not talk to Ableton Live. If you liked what you saw, make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, tell me what you thought. I would love to hear from you. And to get totally plugged in, head over to my website at mainstagetoableton.com forward slash go. I'm looking forward to seeing you there.